What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video, I wanna show you guys, I just bought the cheapest American Silver Eagle that I could buy off of eBay, and we're gonna check it out and see if it's real and legitimate, or if it's fake. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you wanna learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just wanna watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then subscribe to my channel. In this one, I'm gonna show you a recent pickup that I got. It is potentially silver. It came in this package here. It was the cheapest American Silver Eagle that I could buy off of eBay. I only paid $6.96 for it. And uh, as you can see, it is shipping from China uh, over here, some random town, no idea. And the description, they say it's a repair tool. Uh, it doesn't weigh very much. They said 58 cent value there. And uh, let's see, certify that it's uh, not dangerous, etc. Okay, so we're gonna break this open and take a look at it. But before we do, let me take you over to the computer and show you the listing for this item. And we'll check that out, then we'll break it open. We will test it and uh, compare it to my other American Silver Eagles and we'll see if it's real. So fingers crossed. Okay, so I was trying to find where I purchased it and in fact, it's been removed. So that's not good. Uh, the listing you're interested in is no longer available. Hello, Silver Dragons 47. We're writing to let you know we removed an item you recently won due to concerns with the seller's account. So that's never a good sign. And this is uh, the name of the listing here. Silver American Eagle, one ounce, 0.999 fine. American Eagle coin, Statue of Liberty free. So I don't know what the free is, but let's break down um, the title. So first of all, Silver American Eagle, one ounce. That sounds pretty legit. I mean, right? And then it says 999 fine. Uh, it doesn't say 999 fine silver, but it does say Silver American Eagle. And then it says American Eagle Coin, Statue of Liberty Free. I don't know what that bottom part is, but anyway, uh, here was the actual picture of the listing. Um, as you can see, they did remove it, or someone had, I guess, contacted eBay and told them to remove the listing. Now, the coin on the left there, it actually is a picture of a legitimate American Silver Eagle. So, so far, everything was checking out with this uh, listing, and then the price, $6.96, is a little suspect because it's so incredibly cheap. Uh, so let's go check out the actual coin and see what it looks like. All right, so right off the bat, a couple of red flags there. First of all, the listing was removed, which seems very sketchy. Second of all, this is from China, which is where all of the fakes and counterfeits come from. And the third red flag is just that it was so stinking cheap. I mean, spot price for silver is around 18 bucks. This was under $7 shipped to me. Uh, so a bunch of red flags, but you know what? Maybe I found the honey hole, right? Maybe there's some random dude over in China who's got a bunch of legitimate American silver eagles, realized he was selling them way too cheap, and uh, then he removed the listing himself. So I'm not sure. Uh, this is a legitimate American silver eagle, by the way, uh, 2011. We're gonna use this one uh, sort of as the standard. We will check out the other one and sort of compare it to this one. Uh, but anyway, let's break it open and see what it looks like. So. This packaging is absolutely terrible. Uh, it's like the thinnest paper I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, okay, and we have it in this as well. Okay, here we go. So uh, it's in a capsule, I can see that already. And it looks like a proof version. I'm just gonna break this open. It's super shiny, so it looks like a proof. Uh, let's take a look at it here. So it says uh, United States of America. Okay, one ounce fine silver, $1 face value. That all seems uh, legitimate. It does have the W down there for the West Point Mint, which is where I would expect a proof American Silver Eagle to come from. So all the markings look correct on it. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it over here. And uh, some people are already thinking, what's going on? Now, it's a, it's where we're seeing some red flags already. Uh, it is a 2019. It says, in God we trust. Uh, everything seems to be legitimate on it uh, at this point, except for some people already noticed. I turned it over this way, which it would be incorrect because we know that U.S. coinage 
um, you, you would actually flip it over this way to be right side up, uh, not the other way. So that seems a little sketch there, but you know what? Maybe it's some sort of an error coin or something like that, okay? So we'll go ahead and break it out of the capsule and we'll do a couple more tests on it to see if this is a, a legitimate eagle here. Okay, so I got it all broken out of the capsule here, and now I'm still not convinced if this is fake or real and legitimate, so we are gonna do some more tests on it just to be sure, uh, but it's not looking good, I'll tell you that much so far. And I know I'm touching the fields right now on a uh, proof coin, so to speak, uh, but you know what, we're gonna touch more than just the fields on this thing. So uh, let's look at a couple things. Now, first thing I wanna look at is whenever you check out your American Silver Eagles, you look at the date, and if it's newer than uh, 2007, so 2008 or newer, you wanna look at this U right here. Now this U on the United States of America should have a little serif on the bottom of it. It actually does not, so that's very suspicious. Uh, I don't think this would be like a wrong die type thing. Um, there's, there's no serif on the bottom of this U. Now, let me show you to compare it to the legitimate one. Uh, this is a 2011, so it should have the updated die. You see that U right there, the little serif at the bottom? That's what it should look like. It doesn't have that little extra thing on the U. So that's uh, pretty suspicious there. Uh, we can do a couple more tests. Let's go ahead and weigh it. We will see how much it weighs. Um, so we are in regular ounce. Let's move that over to Troy ounce here and we'll just throw it on the scale, see how much it weighs. So it should be a little bit over a troy ounce. It is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but 0 0.93 of a troy ounce. So that's not good at all. It weighs less than a troy ounce. In fact, my suspicion would be that this would be closer to a regular ounce. Uh, let's move it over to regular ounce and we'll weigh it. Oh my gosh, look at that. 1.022, uh, so this, this weighs a regular ounce. So they couldn't even get the weight right. It's the weight of a, a Averdupois ounce, not a Troy ounce. Uh, so, okay, it fails that test. Um, another test we can do is put a magnet to it. So I do have a really strong magnet here, uh, really, really strong, and silver should not be attracted to a magnet. Um, so like this American Silver Eagle, it's not attracted at all. Let's see if this, uh, I'm not, I don't even know if I want to call it an American Silver Eagle, but let's see if it's attracted to this at all. Yep, it is attracted to it. Wow, so it's obviously not silver, clearly. I mean, look at that. It shouldn't be attracted to it at all. It's just picking it right up. Wow, so okay, it fails that test as well. Uh, so it's pretty much failing every test we put it up against. I'm, I am i don't even want to do this specific gravity test, but you know what? Uh, I got this stuff out. Let's do a specific gravity test just for fun, and let's see what the specific gravity of this thing is. I'm sure it's going to be way off. So first step, uh, I just actually did a video on how to do specific gravity testing. Uh, I'll put a link down uh, below. Uh, if you want to watch that video, but uh, let's first weigh it here in grams. Okay, so 28.94. Uh, this is just terrible. So we'll do 28.94 grams. Okay, now the next step would, and I'll show you guys so you can actually see it here. 28.94. It just shows up terrible on my screen. I should probably get a new uh, um, scale just for filming, but anyway. Now we gotta weigh it in water, and then we will do a little division action. So go ahead and tear it there. Okay, now I'll throw a string on it, and we'll go ahead and weigh this piece in the water, and we'll see how much it weighs. I'm gonna go for 3.70, oh, guys. We'll just go 3.70, make the math a little bit easier, okay? So we'll go ahead and uh, set that down there. So we gotta divide uh, 3.70. Okay, so let's do the math here. Uh, 28.94 uh, divided by 3.7 equals 7.82. <laughs> so way off. So we end up with a specific gravity of 7.8. And uh, to be silver, it would have needed to be 
uh, 10.49. So it fails the specific gravity test. Uh, absolutely terribly failed every test we put it up against. So clearly uh, the lesson here is when you're buying e uh, silver on eBay, uh, don't buy from China first off because um, yeah, obviously that's where all the counterfeits come from. I clearly bought a counterfeit. This is not the only uh, legitimate American Silver Eagle to come out of China. So if it's priced well under spot or even at spot or just a hair under, then um, and it's coming from China, I would definitely stay away from it because clearly there are fakes coming out of China. This is a fake. Um, now, another part of this video that I want to do here at the end is was it actually illegal for me to buy this piece of silver? Uh, because there was a law passed in 2014. So let me show up on the screen here the uh, law and then we'll talk about was that okay for me to buy this or not? Okay, so it says, within the 113th Congress, two bills were introduced which contain the same provisions to amend the original Hobby Protection Act, uh, yada, yada, yada. On December 19, 2014, the bill was signed into law by the president, that was Obama. The Collectible Coin Protection Act strengthens the original Hobby Protection Act by now making the sale of unmarked replica coins illegal and also expanding the scope to include any person who provides substantial assistance or support to any manufacturer, importer, or seller if the person knows or should have known that the manufacturer, importer, or seller is engaged in activity that violates the act. Okay, so was it illegal for me to buy this ridiculously cheap American Silver Eagle off of eBay? Um, now, I didn't knowingly buy this uh, with the information that it was going to be a fake because clearly, based on the listing, it's not really possible to tell that this is actually a fake American Silver Eagle until I got it in hand and was able to inspect it and run some of the tests on it. Um, I didn't substantially aid the manufacturer. Uh, I, I didn't import a bunch of monster boxes of these, right? And I certainly don't have the intent to sell any fake silver. Uh, but regardless of all of that, I think just the best practice is whenever you get a piece like this that you know to be fake, what you should do is just go ahead and write the word copy on it. So I'm just gonna right here, write a big old copy. And in fact, I'm gonna do that on the other side as well, just to be safe. Uh, so we'll write copy on this side as well. So clearly it's now marked that this is a copy. I just wanted to make this video sort of uh, for two reasons. First off, to see if this was going to be legitimate or not. And clearly it's not. This isn't a legitimate American Silver Eagle. And so the uh, second reason I wanted to make this video was to get the word out there that if you find a deal on eBay that seems too good to be true, it's probably because it's too good to be true. I don't want this in my house anywhere near my legitimate silver. It's just such a shame, you know, that people are making this stuff to sell. Uh, it honestly disgusts me. And so let's go ahead and send this one off to the great beyond here. I got the bolt cutters. Uh, here we go. Goodbye, you piece of crap. There we go. That's pretty good. Out of that. I don't know. Maybe iron or something. Not even able to break it with the bolt cutters. What a shame. Okay, well, I'll get that apart with my Dremel later. Anyway, I think you guys get the picture. Uh, fake silver is just absolutely terrible. I'll show you guys some real legitimate silver in my next video. Don't worry, uh, but with, with that, I guess I'll leave you. Silver Dragons, out.